this is the next episode in rescuing Teresa. Uh, since the last video, I've done several things. I, I couldn't record it because it was just going too slow. But um, I took the tank off and cleaned it out. Took the carburetor off, cleaned it out. Um, there's fresh gas in here now. Um, I took off that mess of hose clamps and cables that that went that basically went nowhere. Remember the bridge to nowhere? I had cables that just were hanging off and didn't attach to anything. So this is now a push mower, and I've got the um, cable better because they had it so far down here that the kill switch was bottoming out. Uh, very tough to get it to work right so i think this is going to work fine now and it's not not so hard to push down i'm able to push it down with one hand as you can see the self-propelled cable is just hanging here because i'm i'm going to take that off take this handle off because this is just a push mower now and to do that um to make it smooth run smooth uh, i've removed the gears that attach to these wheels inside here. Um, so let me let me show you that. Or yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, this these are the gears that are that are in there that are going to catch the outside of this wheel and turn. They're held on with this brass screw. So you have to get one of those star-shaped screwdrivers. There is Loctite on these, so you got to. You got to be prepared to put some oomph on it, and it's going to want to spin. So you'll need to go to the opposite side uh, after you do the first one, and and get a big pair of pliers or something to hold the axle still in order to get some purchase on this. So I've taken off both of the uh, gears on both sides, and so you can see this mower now rolls smooth. And it's just a push mower. Uh, it's a big push mower, and it's going to be quite powerful. And all the energy is going to go to cutting grass rather than uh, turning wheels. Um, so hopefully the new owner will be happy with that. Um, I did repair the handle. There was missing one of the screws here, one of the little shoulder bolts. I didn't have one, so I had to use a regular 3 8 um, Here's what what they normally look like. They they look like that. There's a little shoulder, and then it gets narrow on this end, and you have a nylon nut. But uh, I, this is just a will do right now. But it's firm, as you can see. The handle is firm. I've tightened these up to lock in the handle. I've put a uh, nice sharp blade on it. Put a new spark plug in there, and it does fire and it does run. So um, Teresa is basically ready to go. Um, once I get this stuff off of here. And what I'm going to do is just take that off and um, cut it right up here. In fact, I'll do that now while we're doing this together. Let me get my, my really good cable cutters. To cut through these cables, it's some strong steel. So you've got to... Um, you've got to... Um, get something good like this to cut to cut this cable so we, um, i'm going to cut it right up in here and that way this the self-propelled is totally disabled i may or may not take the belt off i don't think it's dragging <clears throat> no, it is or not this stuff is tough, man. Try again. There we go. Okay, so that's now clipped loose. And this can just... This can just be discarded. I may save it for something else, but I doubt it. We'll see. Um, but now this is officially just a push mower. And uh, this is how you get the, the handle out. Uh, there's usually a hook on the end of that one, so I'm going to push this way on this end, push that way, and then 
once it's out, then you can come down and get the hook on that handle out. So that's how you get that handle off. So that's where we are. I'm gonna get me a nice clean filter, put a little bit of oil on it and uh, install it. But this mower does prime, it does run. I think Teresa's gonna be fine. Thanks and uh, stay tuned and pretty soon we'll be working on the next one.